babies out. Come on, people. All right, my name is Fro. And it's not entirely because of my hair. Hey! Oh, we're hey. down there. All right. <laughs> <laughs> now, I blame it on my heritage, you know, because I'm Greek and Italian. And there's a lot of similarities between the two. You know, like the women, we make the best mothers. And we make the best lovers. And we grow the best facial hair. <laughs> That's right. And a lot of people think I'm mixed. <laughs> Because I guess, you know, Italians and blacks are a lot alike. The only difference is about an inch. Oh! Okay. <laughs> but there's a lot of differences between Italians and Greeks, too. You know, like if you lie to an Italian, they will cut your tongue out. You lie to a Greek, they'll cut your tongue out and feed it to their family. <laughs> because we don't waste, you know. That's probably not true. The Italians would probably eat the tongue, too. You know, just throw it in the sauce with the meatballs. Have it on Sunday. So it's not uh, easy having big hair, you know. Not many people can pull it off. We can do the list. There's Paul Amalu, that guy right there. <laughs> Cousin It. There's another one. Cavemen and me, that's about it. I actually uh, got to meet Paul Amalu once. I have a Browns fan, obviously. Where's my Browns fans? Yeah. Yeah. Nice, relaxing bye week, right? We didn't have to worry about shit today. I was like, whoo, I can relax on Sunday, finally. No, but I did meet Paul Amalu once, which was pretty cool, you know. He took one look at me, he said, are we related? I said, yes, yes we are, daddy. And then we hugged. And it took an hour to get us apart because our hair got stuck together. It was like Velcro, you know? Like, I guess you could say that Paul Amalu and I, we shared a connection. Oh, hey. oh, oh, yeah. Now, a lot of people ask me about my hair, you know, a question I get a lot, which I'm sure you do too, is, is that natural? I'm like, natural? the hell, lady? You think I look like this on purpose? Come on now. Another question I get is, oh, can I touch your hair? Me too. Yeah, see? And I'm like, yeah, if you want to, but the last guy that did broke his finger trying to get his hand out. So, you know, enter at your own risk. That's what I always tell them. I have a cousin. She has that tattooed above her ass. <laughs> She's Greek. <laughs> Athena. She was actually in the hospital the other day because she had intestinal problems. I went to visit her. She's like, Fro, I'm so nervous. I said, what are you nervous about? She said, I have to have a colonoscopy. I said, you're Greek. You'll be fine. Bend over, grab your ankles, take a deep breath, just like they taught us in Greek school. You won't feel a thing. Opa! There's a lot of Greek stereotypes, you know. People come up to me all the time and they say, so, is it true what they say about Greeks? I'm like, what, that we invented everything and we like to eat a lot of lamb? Yes, it is. Thank you for asking. Uh, okay, so back in Kent, I love Kent. Let's give it up for Kent one more time. Yeah! I used to come here all the time, and my favorite part about Kent is the black squirrels. Excuse me, I just burped. I live in Cortland. <laughs> Excuse me. I live in Cortland. We also have black squirrels. And what I've realized over the course of my life is that the black squirrels are not really the smartest ones. You know, they're not as smart as the brown ones and the gray ones. I like to call them suicide squirrels, okay? Because they will sit on the side of the road and wait for you to drive by. And just at the right moment, they run out! And then they run back and then you hit them! Boom, boom. Suicide squirrels. But you know what freaks me out even more? It's when people do that. <laughs> you know? It's like, come on, buddy, I'm trying to drive here. But you know who else has a death wish? Is people that own chimpanzees as pets. <laughs> no. Come on. They're cute when they're babies. You know, they wear diapers. They drink from a bottle. They're always hugging you. Just like my Uncle Polly. Uh. <laughs> but then when they get older, they get more aggressive and violent, you know. 
just like my Uncle Paul. Oh, no. <laughs> Next thing you know, the chimp's trying to eat your face off and you have to stab it to death with a steak knife. <laughs> just like my Uncle Paul. <laughs> yeah. No, seriously though, what the chimp owners should do is shoot the chimp before it gets to that point. And then you just get a new one, you know, like maybe once a year. You know, like, happy birthday, Bubble. <laughs> <laughs> you know who else has a death wish? My dad. And he made me promise that I would shoot him before he went senile. I was like, Dad, I am not going to have any problem doing that. <laughs> I love you. And then one day he pisses me off, you know, I'm like, hey, Dad, you feel okay? <laughs> you don't look so good. You look a little senile. <laughs> Happy birthday! <laughs> Tell Bubbles I said hello. <laughs>